hey, hey, psst, hey, you, you, you need some drugs? Talk to me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is a Sparrow Journey. We are back to first look videos, which is not more than looking at a video game for about one hour or two and check my first impressions of it. This time around, the game is called Basement and it's developed and published by Health Buzz. Basement was a game that was successfully kickstarted and it's now currently on Steam Early Access under heavy development. Basement reminds me about a game that I played back in the days when I was a kid. Probably older people will remember this one called Sim Tower The Vertical Empire. It reminds me about that game in the construction part of it, in the building part of it, because this has nothing to do with that game. You're not running a hotel, you're running a drug business. Hey, hey, psst, hey, you, you, you need some drugs? Talk to me. So I'm gonna continue the game. I've just started it, by the way. I have done nothing on this level, and we're gonna start out like this. So this is your main base where you start at. You start with one of the producers. There's two characters so far. There is this guy, which is a security guard, and there's this guy who creates the drugs. And there are several types of rooms. I'm gonna dig a little bit into the underground over here. This is a shady kind of operation. You're running a drug business in an underground part of the map that supposedly has nothing to do with drugs. So the more you will, you know, dig down, the more you'll be able to expand your business. So now that I've digged a little bit to the left and right, I can now construct something over here. I can build a room. You have some currency, as you can see on the top left, you have the consumption, and you have electricity levels. So each room consumes a certain number of electricity numbers, and they also show you how much do you produce from that certain drug. Because there are several types of drugs, there are growing green, there are green, probably marijuana or something of the sort, I'm not too much into drugs, as surprising as you might think. There's acid. <laughs> There's smelly brown, I have no idea what this is, by the way, again, I'm not a junkie, and there is speeds. Other than that, there is the standby generator, which provides you with electricity. There's a restroom, which your staff needs to, so that you can, they can rest and heal up, and the tiny storage, in which they can storage the, the boxes of products before they are out there in the market. And also, lastly, the security depot, where you can hire more security guards. Now, the game is played not only vertically, where you construct your stuff, but also horizontally, where you check the other business and the other buildings and whatnot. Now, what you need to do in here is grow to a point where you can attack other buildings that are secured by either guards or, I would say, other kind of factions, other people that are competing against you. And you must get these ones in order to get to the final one, which is this one, Bad Boy Home Place, which is supposedly the other business running around. And you want to finish up this building in order to win the game. Now, currently, this is the point of the game. I feel there's potential for much more, but the game is just lacking development right now. And I hope that, that early access goes well so that we can have an all-around better game. So, to start with, I should probably increase my income. You will have to randomly, occasionally, have to deal with police. The police will raid your stuff, and you can either bribe them, or move your security guards there and fight them instead, if you don't have the money or don't want to give the money to them. So supposedly there's a police guard that is coming to me. There we go, over here. The more you play out in the game, the more difficult these events will be. The faster they will be with more policemen and whatnot. So I'm already on day seven. I'm kind of behind where I should be. You can see the junkies over there, but I'm just trying to explain the game. So in one second, we will be attacked. So I can either bribe them or fight them. Because I have two security guards, I guess I will just fight them. So there we go. We should be able to win this just fine. There we go. Now I'm gonna move here my security guard that got a little bit damaged because he can get healed over here in the staff room. Now, for the business itself, you want to build the rooms in which you produce stuff, uh, drugs, more likely, 
near places like this tiny storage so that you can, they can move from one to the other pretty fast so i'm gonna build another green business and you can only hire another producer once this one is finished these are the kind of things that i think sh they should really change but you know the more development the game will have eventually these things will be changed so there you go now i have the room and i can hire different people currently there's really no big difference between hiring for instance lyle instead of weston because they have the same exact stats these guys can fight as well but obviously they're not as good as the security guards fighting so all of them or any of them will take 25 dollars a day that will increase the consumption so i'm gonna go i don't know randomly let's go with weston let's go with that and now we have a second producer that we will put over there and it will start producing some green as well which this van will take to this small green dealer now what i probably want to do is attack this acid dealer place so that i can start making acid so i'm currently at max of my security guards i'm going to try to attack that place with only two security guards but that's quite risky because there's three guards over here Nonetheless, I will try it out. So let's go and attack. Select these two guys. I could bring a producer with me. I could, to guarantee that I absolutely get it. But these two should be enough. Currently, the game is not too difficult at all. You should have a couple minutes in which you learn the basics and you will have no difficulties at all after that. So let's see. I'm the asset dealer right now. And let's hope that we can get this done with. Oh, here we go. This is my van, the van for my guys. Actually, the first van was one of my guys as well, but they wait for the backup to get in. There we go. One is down. That guy leveled up, but now he will die probably. Yeah, he died. This guy will now take care of that cop. In the meantime, I'm going to hire another security guard. And as the producers, they're pretty much the same. They consume twice as much of the money, but basically there's no difference between them. So Carol... Rafael or Carlos. I'll go with Carlos because he seems more menacing. There we go. So we were attacking the acid, acid dealer. There we go. Oh, and we... God dang it. We didn't get it. So if I go there with this guy, I should be able to finally get it. I should have taken a producer with me. But I don't want to disrupt the, the production of drugs. So I'm going to get one more security guard like this guy. I'm spending a lot of money on security guards. That's because this acid dealer attack didn't go that well. So basically one security guard normally takes down one police guy just fine. You should, should take that into account when you're attacking places. So I now have the acid dealer to me, but the police is going to the small green dealer. So I should probably move some of my guys over here. I should heal that guy before making him go here. So the police should be coming. There we go. And my security guard is behind him. But I have a security guard arriving in time, so we should be fine. The police take, still take some time to start the brutality. What happens if you don't bring some security guards over here, you ask? I actually never happened. That never happened to me. But what probably will happen is that you will lose this place for your business so i'm gonna fight I'm not gonna bribe them and let's try to expand our business now we have the acid dealer let's build an acid stall which will start making some acid drugs did i lose a security guard i don't think so so let's move here these two so that they can be healed normally they automatically go to the staff room when they are damaged when they are injured so that they can recover but I prefer to do it myself. Lyle, I need your services, so come down here. This is something that I would like the game to do it itself, which is putting the producer on the right room, which I hired him for. Now this guy is fully recovered. You move out of there and you go and recover yourself. So let's see how the production goes. Green doesn't seem to be storing too much, so we have a good business of green going over here. So we might want to expand to one more green producing room before getting this of the second green dealer. But not only that, to increase the rate at which I sell stuff, I might want to get this parking business. Green 
sells for seven a day and sells for fifty dollars now the asset is quite different it sells five a day but it sells for 100 each package so it gives you more money small green dealer is getting attacked again so let's move here my two security guards and let's try to hire some more let's hire tom eventually you will run out of security guards this keeps being refreshed during time but if by any chance you don't have any more to recruit and you need urgently to recruit someone you can just do a reroll over here that will cost you but will also provide you with more security guards at on point so it seems that I'm stocking up on green, which means I need the second green dealer. That would be good. So let's do that after we are attacked. I normally tend to attack places after I get raided, because that's the point at which I'm safe to send people without needing to defend some other place for quite some time. So it seems that I'm going to make it through without losing any guards. That's good, because now they're leveled up. Let's move here my two security guards and heal them. And then I'm going to attack the green dealer, the second green dealer. Then I guess a good move would be getting the parking lot so that I can have the second van. Four of them is overkill. There's only one policeman over here. You can see that the game implies it gives you a hint of what you should get next. I'm already getting over some steps because I already know the game and the style of which I want to imply on my management. I went with the asset first, then the second green dealer, because I think it's worth it. Let's see if I lost any of my... No, I didn't lose any of them. So let's move this guy over here. And what I'm going to do nextly is attacking... This is going to be risky. I'm going to go to the parking with the three ones that are fully recovered. This is going to be risky because I should be attacked in a couple seconds, I would say. But, YOLO, we have three security guards against three guards. We should be able to get it. I need that second van so that I can get the stuff out of my headquarters. There you go. Things are looking good. There you go. And we got the second van. It's not working for us. So, there's no chance of you losing the place that you, you know, got after fighting. Other than if a police raids your place and it wins. There's no chances someone that is competing against you shows up. There's no traps. There's no, you know, like, like you have in Pizza Syndicate. A very old game as well in which you can mess up with the other guy's business. There's no stuff like that. Doesn't mean that you will not be in the game in the future again. It is under heavy development. So I'm not really stocking on anything right now. So that's great. What I should probably do is upgrade my business by digging deeper over here. And to the sides, we are probably going to need another storage. Because, you know, if you're going to make uh, another business down here, you want to make it storage in the same level in the same floor so that people don't have to you know go up and down go up and down that takes more and more time so let's build currently i don't have actually uh, enough money i i need electricity by the way i need electricity that's uh, the current problem in the future we should take the construction site which is another lot where you can build your business so because this is closer to the brown dealer you should probably build the brown dealer stuff over here because it is closer is more efficient and the same can be said about the speed dealer that's why you have those intermediate slots in the street so over here i should leave it to just the green dealer and the acid i'm gonna go with the acid because that gives me more money than the green dealer so let's go with that after this i'm gonna need another producer are these guys healed already? They're not. Main district. All right. They're coming over here to my headquarters. I have no idea what happens if they win over here. Probably it's game over or something of the sort. Let's bring one more producer. Let's bring Perry. So here's the police again. I am not going to bribe them. I need the monies. So I'm just going to send my security guards to fight. Like 
So They're gonna scavenge all over the place Oh, I can't believe there's one producer Oh, no, 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 that was bad Oh, he still won against the policeman, though Normally, the way it rolls out is I can't believe I just lost that guy I just recruited that guy You know, the game should Or the policeman should attack The security guards first And then the producers That's how I see it but apparently no. Apparently, they attack whoever is in their way. I'm kind of fine with that. So you come over here. I'm just bummed that I lost a little bit of money. Bribing is an easy way of getting away with a raid. And because I sent my guys to attack a place, there's no way I can bring them back and defend the acid dealer. Alright, so now we're gonna take this place and hopefully start the brown business. Oh god. Two of my guys down. We should be able to take the place with the last two, though. There you go. It's on you! Who's that? Who's that? Tom. Tom, good job. Now we have the construction place. I'm gonna bribe these guys so that they don't bring that place down. You guys need to heal. I hope, really hoped you guys would do that on yourself. By yourself, I mean. Let's dig out some of the places. Let's build a tiny storage. And let's start the brown business, if we have enough money. So, let's bring over here the... I don't have enough money currently, I need to wait a little bit more. I think the brown business pretty much guarantees you that you can bribe every single raid without any problem. So let's just wait for that. I still need to attack that place, so let's just wait to see where the cops are gonna attack, defend that place, and then attack the brown dealer. There we go, intense fighting going on over there. <laughs> a lot of punches and oh my lord, no one died, that is awesome. That's awesome when nobody dies of the guys that you brought over there. Because they, they will keep leveling up and they will be stronger and allow you to overcome more difficult guards. So we should be able to build the first build, uh, the first store over there. Here we go, dope chick kitchen. I was about to say chicken. Alright, so now I have some brown stuff that will, there we go, be brought to the brown dealer. So let's bring here all these guys, and I'm gonna bribe that raid, if you're wondering. Let's bring all of them, because I don't need them anywhere else. This place is defended by only two cops, it should be easy to do, take down. So they're gonna start the police brutality, I don't even know where that was. But the camera will take me there, supposedly. There we go, it's in the construction site. Let's bribe them. Again, as I've said and predicted, once you have the brown dealer stuff, you, the money comes in at a very steady rate, so you don't need to worry too much about money. Especially when you get the speed dealer, which will give you $400 for each package, and it sells two a day. That's a lot. So let me just take this van. Thank you very much, we got another one. And we're very close to finish the game. Let me now start the speed dealing um, business by just starting here a, another room that is the Adam stand but I need more money I need 2800 we need to wait a little bit longer the acid apparently is not selling enough I should either stop one of the stores or if I had the chance I would you know make another lot of acid dealing stores you come down here and work over there and now I need to attack this place the speed dealer let's bring all my full HP guys let's leave the other ones to rest actually these are only four I would like to bring more because this place is heavily guarded oh well YOLO let's go YOLO especially in the drugs dealing business you gotta go YOLO a lot of times <laughs> you go and heal I knew, do the same thing. You should do that automatically, man. Especially if the room is empty. It should be one of the priorities. Alright, I should be able to bribe those guys so that they don't do their dirty stuff. Or stop me doing my dirty stuff. There we go, there's the police over there going to raid my place. Someone leveled up, that's awesome. And there we go, we got the speed dealer now. Let's recruit two more guards because we lost two of them. As you can see here at the bottom, I should have probably mentioned this already, but there's a map 
an horizontal map with which you can navigate as well quicker so I'm now gonna be attacked where was it acid dealer was it it's the place where my oh there we go where my security guards are at there's no need to bribe over here not at all so let's just fight and see how it goes you don't want to always bribe the guards so that you can level up your security guards the problem is they sometimes die as it happened over there and there's no way you control who attacks first so if someone levels up and it dies nextly that's bad that's a shame now I'm gonna have another raid and you can see that the raid at which they happen is much faster I'm gonna bring all my security guards over here there we go and recruit some more and I'm gonna bribe that raid because I'm getting prepared to go for the last lot I'm gonna hire some more but I'm gonna need to reroll we should be able just fine to bribe them now right now because we have so much money there we go I have eight guards that is more than enough I would say to bring that last lot to our control so let's bring all of my guys over here I could even bring the producers I could do that because it's the last attack and it's all or nothing but I think my security guards will do it just fine there's eight of them they are one two three four five six seven eight as well so this might be tight let's see how it goes and here's the raid let's bribe them let's get back over here <laughs> look at all the fighting and we got this we definitely got this so ladies and gentlemen I hope you have enjoyed basement apparently there's still one more guy running invisible guy running this is the end of the game currently as it is I like basement I was highly anticipating basement for quite a while as I've said in other videos and on my live streams but unfortunately I think basement is a victim of once again the early access model now the, the game is pretty cool the problem is content when you don't have content you play like 30 minutes of this game and you're done with it and you will probably not look back unless some huge patch comes up so we're looking at I don't know months of development before I can actually advise you to buy this game because currently this is the only thing you have for it there's not much more you could probably throw another game and try to be better at it beat it faster or something of the sort but currently this is it ladies and gentlemen i hope you have enjoyed this please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye bye thank you for watching everyone if you are looking for more feel free to check these suggestions as a reminder if you're looking into buying games considering using my g2a ref link in the description of this video ladies and gentlemen i'll see you on the next one and remember stay above the waters